Hi there and welcome to Accurate Solutions. My name is Samantha Knight in DeForge and in today's video I'll be demonstrating mobile time entry against an active project in Acumatica. So to start, I've logged into Acumatica on the desktop as the admin user who will be approving the timesheet after I've submitted it off of my mobile device as I'll be using the user Todd Bloom who requires approval of all of his timesheet submissions. Once the timesheet is submitted and approved, I will be able to release the timesheet where at that point it will be ready for invoicing. So I'm going to go ahead and share my mobile device screen and you can see that I've already logged into the Acumatica application. I'll scroll down and select employee time cards. I can see a time card already created for this week where I can go ahead and drill down and select the details tab to see all my time allocations. I can create a new time entry by clicking, clicking the plus sign and I can see that the date has auto defaulted. You can specify an earning type, whether it be holidays, overtime, regular hours, vacations, whatever your business may follow. And I'm gonna go ahead and allocate a project. I'm working on project 31, so I'm able to type 31 and the system has already filtered and searched for it. And now I'm gonna assign a project task. I'll go ahead and assign it to installation and allocate my time. Once I've allocated my time, I will need to add a description. Installation of engineered components. I can specify whether this is a billable or non-billable engagement, review my entry and click the back arrow and we'll see it logged as a new entry. At this point, I can go ahead and add an activity against this timesheet or click on the back arrow to go to the header level of the time card and submit it. Once I've submitted the time card, it will see that it's in a pending approval status. And because I don't have the authorization, even if I try to, the system will throw me an error saying that I'm not able to do this. I can take the timesheet on hold if I need to make revisions, but in this case, I'm gonna go back into my desktop version and refresh my widget here, where I can see that the timesheet entry for Todd Bloom has been entered. When I drill down into the timesheet at this point, it's gonna reflect all the details that I've just filed as a particular user, I can see all of my time entries for this week, and as a manager, I'll go ahead and approve it. Once I have approved the timesheet, I can now release it and it will post to the system where it will now be ready for invoicing. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thanks.